Hi, my name's Dale, and welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks. I'm really excited to introduce you guys to Billy Hatton. Billy has invited me out to a shop because I'm doing this, you know, kind of a national shop tour 2016, I'm calling it. And you live here in... Wheatland, Wyoming. Wheatland, Wyoming, which is on the far east of Wyoming. We're above Cheyenne, about 70, 70 miles. miles. Right. Okay. And you were a welder originally. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you were what I call a real welder because you worked on power plants, nuclear power plants. Right. Well, I, I worked on, uh, I worked for Westinghouse and we built the steam generator and the feed water heaters for a nuclear power plant. Okay. But, and I did do some repair work one time in a nuclear power plant in Connecticut, but most of my time was built, was, uh, spent building the components okay. for a nuclear power plant, mainly the steam generator. But that's still some, so he's been telling me some of the techniques they were using where you would have to do kind of a buddy system to do some of the welding. Right, definitely. And that was just because one guy would strike off an arc and bring it around, and then right. you would pick up pick off of that. Pick it up to keep from having too many starts and stops in a well. You just keep picking each other up as you went around a, a, a pipe or tube or whatever. We did the same technique in boilers, welding okay. boiler tube, and when I worked in the power plants. Okay. But then you started to get into machining. Right. Kind of by, not by accident, by choice, but you had to fight the system a little bit. A little bit. I worked in, a, in most of my years, I worked in, a, in power plants, coal burners. Okay. and um, did a lot of boiler work and a lot of steam piping. And my last few years before I retired, I worked in the machine shop at the power plant, so I was exposed to the machine work, mm -hmm. and I was also the welder for the machine shop. So I, I got introduced to, to machining, and I really loved it. And so I started learning from the machinists there, and I mm -hmm. was doing, doing some, some machine mm -hmm. work, and I was doing more and more machine work that was connected to, to my job as a welder there. Right. So I decided when I retired, I wanted to have a little machine shop. I always knew I'd have a, a welding shop. So before I retired, I you know worked overtime, whatever, so I bought a, a, I bought a mill mm -hmm. and, and this lathe. And so I've been retired now for about 13 years and mm -hmm. I really enjoy my shop and I build some things. and. Just like Dale says, I go to my shop and I build something cool. <laughs> well, and behind us is a trike that you built. Yeah. And we'll, we're going to bring that back a little bit later. But one of the things I really like that you built here is, you know, getting a DRO is expensive, as you guys know. Well, Billy's kind of cheated the system, and I really like it. Now, this gauge here, and he ended up building a clamp system. You want to show that to us, Billy? Yeah, it's just aluminum, and uh, I just milled it out to fit the ways so it's nice and square with my carriage. I can move it up and down, and then I can lock it down, and I can always come back and find zero, or if I want to face off a certain amount, because we all know these racks aren't that accurate, so if I want to face off 10 thousandths, I can dial in 10 thousandths and face 10 thousandths. Mm -hmm. I also use it in connection with this deal I made, mainly when I'm threaded, because after each thread, of course, you know, as you thread, you got to back out of the thread, come back and reset to zero. Well, then you're, you've got to allow for your backlash coming out and then going back in. But with this little setup here, I can always go back to zero, and then I check zero here. Yeah. Let's take this off and show it to them. Okay. We got, is that the... It's just a simple piece of aluminum. So I milled this out, the dimension of my cross line, mm -hmm. and uh, just put a set screw in it. And I made this is dimensional so that it will go underneath my compound. So I can get as much room as I can. Mm -hmm. So then you can, this set screw will lock it to your, uh, your uh, cross slide. If I can get my Allen wrench in there. 
and you get it nice and square. You lock it down, and then this is just a mag base, and I sanded a little paint off so my mag base, so you, then you can come in with your mag base, and you can set zero. So if you come out, if you come out of your thread and you come back down, then you can always go back to zero. So you're in, in to correspond with your dial. You mm -hmm. still want to come back to zero here, but it's a double check system, I figure. Mm -hmm. So then you come back, and then of course you know you keep feeding in your compound for your thread. And I um, I do some gun work, so when I'm threading a rifle barrel. I take my time because rifle barrels aren't cheap. <laughs> so if I'm threading the tenon on a rifle barrel, then I want to, every cut, I try to double check myself. Yes. Because I'm not a journeyman machinist. I haven't mm -hmm. done this all my life. I've welded all my life. Right. And I feel confident in what I do there. But I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm, I think I'm learning fairly well. So I'm, I'm trying to, trying to double check myself, mm -hmm. especially if I'm threading a barrel. And this is just such a great system because it's, it's kind of like having a DRO without spending the money. Right. And, I, and I like that a lot. Right, when you set on zero here, it don't, the back glass doesn't matter. Right. It's just like a DRO. You go back to zero, you're back to zero. So, this is fantastic. And it's pretty, it's pretty simple setup, and I'm a simple man. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, this is just excellent. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know I've been enjoying my time out here. We were out and here I've last enjoyed. night. You're coming to visit. Yeah. It has just been fantastic. So if you guys know, I'm doing this kind of uh, tour from Atlanta up to Yellowstone National Park. And I'm going to stay up in Yellowstone for a while. I'm going to do some photography up there. And then I'm going to head back down to Atlanta. So if you're kind of in those areas, let me know. Send me a note at dale at metaltipsandtricks.com. And Invite me to your shop. We'll see what happens. I may be coming by, so I'd love to meet you guys. All right, don't forget to give me some thumbs up. Also, Billy, some thumbs up. Also, some great positive comments. And until next time, go out in your shop. And build something cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Billy. Yeah.